Good morning everybody, it's the first day of school and the very first question we have, um, I got in my inbox, what does CXE test in measurements? So I'll see if I can get that done during the course of the day, what CXE test in measurements? CXE will check here on about six things in measurements. There are six. When I get a topic, I like to make a list of the topics to make it easier for students to understand what they need to study. So measurement. For measurement, you want to study these six things. Perimeter, area. Let's make surface area a separate thing as well. Volume, scales, and also they include speed, distance, and time. So I hope you can see that from there. Wow, my handwriting. First day of school, I had to get back accustomed to writing on this board, boy. So measurement itself is not a very hard topic. It's not even a very big topic. But the way it's tested for CXE, they really check to see a use of knowledge. The questions come a little tricky. They wouldn't, for example, volume, they wouldn't just bring it. Find the volume of a cube, find, they will actually find the volume of a cylindrical tank that has been emptied halfway and uh, something like that. So I'll do a question on that, but before I do a question on that, some of my students want to be in the vlog and it's the first day of school, so I said, why not? So welcome to Lose the accent, please. <laughs> <laughs> I this video, I don't want to hear no accent. <laughs> Alright, hi guys, welcome to Mrs. Springer's video. You know I don't know. You know how the thing goes. So Scra first is <laughs> These fake Americans here. Yeah, I'll actually not here, right? Right. Well, I don't know. We back again at the mad videos. Go with Springer, first year of school. Do so, something, so try your best. You'll be learning support. plenty things and getting help with a lot of things you didn't know. Absolutely. So, I don't even feel your lessons. You could be the one out of that 100 and something. Are you, up, are you fed up of getting F in mathematics? Well, good news! Cut it down! <laughs> I left my camera charger in school, so I have to do the rest of the video on my iPad. I'll just do a quick question and we'll call that George for this video. I am now heading home after lessons there, so hopefully you get that done quickly. Alright, so I'm home. Let's get this question on the way quickly. Number six. Yeah, so the measurement question is usually in the middle of the paper. You know, there are 10 questions in the paper. The measurement question will be like number 5, number 6, somewhere there. The scale on the map is this, so it normally starts off with scale. The next part of the question will be volume or area. Yep, some kind of volume, area, shinding. But it doesn't bring it straight, straight forward. Eh? You'll, you'll, it'll be kind of mix up. The noises in the background is my son shouting, so you'll just, you know, add that to your little learning experience. Um, the scale on the map is 1 to 25,000. I'm not going to do this question. I'm not going to do the question. I'm going to guide you through it, and somebody adventurous is going to come up with the answer. Why spoil the fun? So the scale on the map is 1 to 25,000. And Lynn and Jersey are 31 centimeters apart on the map. So that's the map. So if you want to get it in real, determine the actual distance, you have to multiply by 25,000, this number. And you'll get the distance in centimeters. They didn't act, they actually it in kilometers. So you need to change the centimeters that you get. Two kilometers by using a little conversion. I'm not going to sell that out. So that's two marks. One for multiplying by 25 and one for changing the centimeters to um, kilometers, right? The actual distance between Clifton and Jamestown, there are some more cities there, is 2.75. So you need to go backwards now. So what you need to do is change this to CM and then um, you will divide by the 25 to get the actual units in terms of centimeters on the map. Not 25, eh? 25,000. But the thing is, it's just per units now, so it, that's a little vague there. So anyhow, the next part of the question, the diagram below shows a square ABC drawn, ABCD, blah, 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 the circumference, the vertices lie on the circumference, that just means they're touching the circle, the length of one side of this, is 11 centimeters so now you need to show that the diameter of the circle is 11 root 2 meaning 11 times the square root of 2 well that's simple 
it looks it may look a little confusing if you're not your measurement game down but what happening here is that this is 11 and this is 11 I don't know my son looking in the background but oh gosh by the life I live in so 11 11 so now you need to um you need to get this side up here and that is our little Pythagoras you're going to use there so you're going to use c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared for those of y'all who don't know Pythagoras that would sound like French right c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared and both sides are going to be 11 11 squared plus 11 squared is going to be equal to a c squared so you know that is 2 by 11 squared because you have two 11 squares now um, is equal to ac squared and the answer right in front of you there because i need to find the square root of ac because that is the diameter and when i find the square root of that the square will go on this but this will turn square root and you'll end up with that um i kind of just sell all the whole work in there but you know this one is more like a proof than an actual question so let's go on to the next part quickly so this video don't go on forever the area of the circle Area of the circle, well, you know how to find the area of a circle when you have a diameter, so I don't need to talk about that. And the area of the square, uh, come on, man, not the area of the square. So, you know how to find the area of the square when you have a side, right? You really ask for the area of the square, by oh, and then the area of the shade that's a one mark, right? So, don't get happy for that. The area of the shaded section, so you know what you're gonna do, you have the area of the circle you have the area of the square you need to minus way and you're gonna get the area of all these sections here so then you'll need to divide by four to get that and not going too in depth in the explanation if this was too confusing let me know in the comments and then i'll i'll maybe do all this whole question nice for everybody but those who understand and can get it out feel free to try out some answers for me till next time I'm out.